Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn, your ultimate die cutting community. And we're bringing you another fun, very informative video today that really doesn't have a project. You, you see the table's a little clearer than it normally is. And that is because today we are talking about how to connect cursive fonts in Cricut Design Space. So a lot of people ask, a lot of people have trouble and I have to be honest and I'm not putting anybody down. I have to be honest, sometimes on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or things like that, I see finished projects that people have made like glitter tumblers start to finish and in the middle of it, of course, they've added their vinyl and they've added like a word like mama bear or something like that and they have not connected their cursive font and you can tell and it's it's all it's saddening it's disheartening because I know a lot of crafty people out there just don't know you know they just don't know how to do it they don't know that they can do it or maybe they just feel a little overwhelmed and you know not very confident in design space and that is what we here at Makers to Learn strive to fix so if you guys have a die cutting machine and you want to see what we're all about we have over 1300 digital cut files over 200 fonts and we will use one of those fonts today and we have a members only Facebook group, free printable guides like this one, free commercial licensing, and so, so much more. So if you guys want to see what all the hype is about, click the very first link in the description below to check it out. But anyways, guys, this is going to be a fun little simple tutorial teaching you a couple of different ways on the iPad that you guys can connect cursive fonts. There are the same uh, techniques I'm going to be using here in uh, on your laptop, on your desktop. There's only a couple things that the iOS has uh, that they don't. And of course, I will get into that in this video. If you guys want to see uh, this same exact tutorial just on a desktop or laptop as well, please let us know. But I know a lot of you guys have iPads out there and get crafty with your maker and the iPad because it has a USB port to charge it and the awesome little dock. So we definitely take advantage of our iPad when using our Cricut Maker. But without further ado, guys, let's jump into Design Space. Okie dokie, guys, here we are in Design Space and we have a ton of fonts. Like I was telling you guys, I will actually take just a few minutes here and go over to the website and show you guys some of the fonts that we have. Okay, we're on the site here. We have awesome cut files, full project tutorials and things like that. But I'm just going to go to view all fonts. We do have basic fonts, fancy fonts, hand letter fonts, monogram fonts, script fonts, and much more than that. But I just hit uh, the view all category so that we could just kind of get a rundown of some fonts and maybe the fonts that you want to connect and the fonts that you don't. Of course, we know to connect cursive fonts like our Southwest or our Jasmine, but you do not have to, of course, have things touch like Air Twins or Spooky Spiders. Uh, it just kind of depends on the font that you're using. And a lot of people get confused about, you know, the rules of which fonts you do and which fonts you don't. And honestly, we have a couple of fonts like this one called Chubster, which is really, really cute. I will find that uh, as well. I'll just, um, search for that one. But we have a font called Chubster and you can choose to connect them or not connect them. Uh, some words connect better than other words and it's really up to you and I'll just love the freedom of fonts because that is what you have. You have the freedom of the alphabet, alphabet, the freedom of all of the numbers that you can think of. You can just get creative and make super awesome personalized projects with fonts and we happen to have over 200 of those and fonts are only available to our yearly members. Uh, we absolutely love pouring into all of our members, but this is a, a yearly member only perk. So if you would like to join Makers Gonna Learn and get access to all of these fonts, plus many, many more coming in the future, then please go ahead and click that link below and get crafty with us. But we're here in Design Space and we go, are gonna go to our system fonts to see the ones that we have downloaded. And one that I have in my mind, stuck in my mind that I cannot wait to show you guys today is Community, okay? Our Community font, I love our Community font. It's a great one to show you guys how to kern them and that is the word that we use when we talk about manipulating and you know um, making our cursive fonts touch and things like that, connecting those. We are gonna be kerning our words. And one of the rules of thumb that I like to use especially for beginners, and I use it every time I'm in Design Space, so don't think it's just a beginner thing, but if you are working in Design Space on fonts, you are going to want to use one word per text box. You might think I'm crazy, that's fine, but let me show you the difference, okay? I'm gonna show you the difference. So we're gonna hit our community font, and I'm just gonna type out, hello friends, okay? So here's that, and then we're gonna do it separately. We're gonna go back to our system fonts. We're gonna do hello, one text box. 
and do friends in another text box. And so the difference is all of these are together and there's really not a good way to kern these and to make these all um, fit together well if they are connected. So what we would do, what's the first thing we would do is we would go over here, we would go to actions and here we would have to ungroup these because we can't just have all these starting to mush together if we started to take the uh, letter space down and things like that. So we would have to go and ungroup these and now they're ungrouped so each letter is its own uh, thing and then we would take it and then have to you know separate it that way which it's not the biggest deal in the world but it's just a little bit harder in my opinion. So I love to use one word per text box personally. So if you do that, then you already have them separated here just like this. And we don't love the way this looks clearly. This is not the way that you would want to go ahead and hit make it and finish this project. You would really want to uh, make this look beautiful. So we're gonna do this one word at a time. I'm gonna move friends over. We're gonna move hello up. Excuse me, we're gonna move hello up. And we're gonna do this uh, word by word. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to edit and here you can see letter space and line space. The first thing that we could try to do to really minimize the work that we have to do is hit uh, letter space and we would start hitting this minus. And as you can see, it's squishing the letters closer together uh, without us having to do anything. So we're gonna keep doing this. And as you can see, our O is so close to touching. We're just gonna keep doing this. And as you can see, our O and our E look great, but we have a little bit more on our L. So if we keep going, then oops, you can see over here, we start to get a little bit funky with our O here. So this is not foolproof. You can't just do this and then hope you're great. So I would get it to how you like it with your O and your E, and that looks great to me. And once you have it like this, you're gonna go to actions and you're gonna ungroup these guys, okay? And don't freak out, it is not scary. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two. So the O and the L, we like how they are. So you can't just tap one because each letter is its own layer now. So we're gonna drag with our finger and get that O and that L. And now we can move this around how we want to, but we just wanna slowly scoot this over right there until we touch that L and it looks nice and flush just like that. And now, as you can see, we're gonna take the O, the L, and the other L, drag just like we did, and we're just gonna scoot that over just a little bit right there, okay? And that's all we have to do. That is as easy as it is. So we used uh, our letter space tool there until we had to do it ourselves. We ungrouped it, and then we used this. Now, once you have it exactly how you want it, you're gonna go over here and what do you think you're gonna press? If you want all of these to become one and stick together, what are you gonna press? A lot of people might think you can press attach, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You cannot press attach because attach is just like uh, glue. It'll just glue them together, but not but they're not together forever, if that makes sense. It's just like a little sticker, a little bit of tape, you know. What we wanna do is we wanna weld it. That means that you're welding the whole word together as one, all the lines, you know, become one because this is a cursive font, but it was uploaded as each separate letter so what would happen if we hit attach and just go ahead and send it off to be cut is it would cut our O and then cut our O, you know, the little tail off. Then it would start our L and up here it would cut the little other L's tail off. Then it would start here and they wouldn't connect. They would still um, be cut as individual letters even though they are connected here in design space. So if you click weld, then all of it is one word all of it is one layer it'll all cut simultaneously as one uh one fell swoop which is exactly what we want so once we have our hello done we're going to move over to our friends and look look at the difference here guys look how much of a difference kerning makes hello and then friends okay so we're going to get this friends looking great too so we're going to take our hello and we're going to get our friends up here and again we're going to use that little trick okay we're going to go over here to edit we're gonna go to, um, or excuse me, we gotta select it first. Then we're gonna go to letter space here and we're gonna hit that little button down, okay? And we have to be super mindful of what's gonna touch what first because as soon as we start touching things, we need to stop, you know? So once we get, see, that's way too much, you can tell. Once we get about here is where we're gonna have to stop and we're gonna have to start 
kerning ourselves. So here is what the letter space did for us. And it did a lot, as you can see. But this S needs to touch here. Uh, we need to connect that R with that F there. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to go to Actions, and we're going to ungroup this. But one thing that the iPad has that the other uh, things, if you were using your desktop or your laptop, does not have is you go over here to Settings, and you tap Smart Guides. Hit that little toggle switch. Smart Guides is going to help us. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it hurts. I've got to be honest. I don't adore Smart Guides, and here's why. Sometimes when I'm taking this S and I'm wanting to make it connect, it has all these lines here, and they confuse me, and they make me uh, a little bit crazy, you know. And we don't want to. We don't want to feel crazy, okay? So sometimes it's helpful, and sometimes it's not. But uh, once you get that S where you want to, we're going to leave their Smart Guides on here. We're going to take this and we're going to try to move it all over here to our R. And you can see those smart guides, those yellow lines that are getting in our way. Uh, you can turn those off if you do not think that they are helpful to you, and sometimes they're not. And here on that R, I'm just not satisfied. So what we can do is we're going to take our two fingers, excuse me, we're going to pinch in. But first, I'm going to take all of these, this part here, and I'm going to go ahead and attach that together. Because I'm going to get super close in the frame here, and I do not want to mess anything up. So here we are. I want to take this, guys, and I really want to get in here and maneuver this to be perfect. And as you can see, it's harder than it looks. So this is what I'm talking about. You guys just kind of have to play with it and get it exactly how you want it. You don't have to rush. Rushing, you know, uh, slow and steady wins the race, as I would say for this. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. So I'm going to pinch out and show you guys the finished. So I really like the way this looks. I think it looks really good. So I'm going to take it all now. So you're going to drag every bit of it. And what are we going to hit? We're going to weld it. We're going to weld that together. So now you can see it's all one word, which is great. And now we have our hello and our friends right here. They're both, uh, they're both beautiful. So what we're going to do, um, and it just depends on what you want to put it on. So you can make this a whole lot bigger and have hello like kind of tucked in there. Or you can make them the same size and have them right on top of each other. Or you can just have them side by side. It's whatever you want. And you can see Smart Guides here. It'll show you if you're in the middle or if it's in the top, and that's really handy to have in certain situations. So I do like smart guides for some things, um, but uh, it just depends on how you want these. But that was a really easy tutorial on how to kern your words and your letters and how to make them beautiful. And of course, just like I showed you there, there is several ways to do it. Okay, so you can you can just ungroup and do them all separately. You don't have to use uh, that tool to uh, bring that letter spacing down. You don't have to use smart guides, especially if you don't have an iPad. If you're using a desktop, that's totally fine. On the desktop, sometimes it's even easier to do this because you have the little keys that you can press and it'll squish them together really precisely. And I really do appreciate that about um, the desktop and the laptop version. I love the hands-on of the iPad. So it's really to each their own. One thing that I absolutely adore about Design Space is that there's a hundred different ways to get from point A to point B. And every crafter will get to point B, but there's a hundred different ways to get there. So you can start one way and finish another way, but as long as you finish with two beautiful, kerned, uh, finished, welded words, it really doesn't matter how you got there because everybody's a different crafter. We all craft differently. We're all on different levels of craft knowledge and design space knowledge. We're all learning new things every day and it's really, really fun to just see different ways to do things. So even if you know exactly how to do this, maybe you clicked on this video and you learned a little new thing about maybe the smart guides or something like that because we could all learn uh, you know, from watching each other because there's just so many different ways to do things. Me and Tanner craft completely differently on live streams. He crafts differently in design space than I do sometimes. And it's just really fun to see how crafters design things differently in design space. So I hope that you all enjoyed that little tidbit on how to connect your cursive fonts. So guys, what did you think about that super fun, simple tutorial on how to connect cursive fonts in Design Space? I know that sometimes it can get tricky and it can feel overwhelming because there's so many fonts and some of them uh, have way more quirk than the other and some of them are so much more um, uh, intimidating than other fonts and that's okay okay we here at Makers Gonna Learn are here to give you guys all the inspiration and education that we can and that's what we're here to do so I hope that you all enjoyed this video guys if you have any comments please leave them down below any questions or concerns I love to read through those and to comment back to you guys 
As always, give this video a thumbs up and let us know if you have uh, any other video ideas for us down below. Like I said, if you want us to be uh, doing this same video, but just on the desktop version or the laptop, let us know and we will get that to you guys as well. Uh, and again, guys, if you want to know where you can get that font and over 200 more and access to the members only Facebook group and 1300 cut files and so many online trainings and full project tutorials and printable guides and free commercial licensing and so, so much more goodness, please click the very first link down below and join Makers Gonna Learn. I hope that you all have a wonderful crafty day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.